All right, let's have a crash course in using um, absolute layout. So let's just make a label here and call it this is a label. Even better, let's change it to a um, something that's got some. Uh, what's the border control called again? Box view. Um, and let's just make it for a start. Pop it in an absolute layout and let's play around with it a bit. So we've got to, we use absolute layout dot flags and dot position and dot absolute layout dot flags yeah sorry dot layout flags bounds and flags and flags and depending on the you can switch any of the properties into being either relative or absolute stop it stop selecting the whole thing okay so the bounds um, we can do some interesting stuff there. We, the first two are X and Y, and the last two are width and height. Um, so, no, I've been recording for a while. <laughs> now it sounds like I'm talking to myself. Um, so, we can make it take up the entire screen by going uh, let's go we want the bounds to start from 0 comma 0 and we want it to be one wide and one high so when you go when you when you're on um, all the properties are gonna be um, not absolute what's the other one so it makes it full screen proportional so, but what we can do is let's just say I want it to be 50 by 50, but still um, up in the top left. So let's let's actually let's go position proportional. So what I can then do is um, if I make it position proportional and go 0 0.5, and I make it um, so that means these will be absolute. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm saying I'm going to want it to be 0 0.5x start at 0 Y but be 50 high okay and so you can see it's halfway along X it's 50 by 50 and 0 on the Y so if I go Y 0.5 as well that means it'll be centered but it'll be centered from its top left I think so it'll sort of be a bit off center Um, so that's pretty cool but what happens if I go I want it to be positioned at what happens if I set them to 1 so the beauty of this is is that it it sets it to the full X width minus the the um, absolute width automatically um, so it's actually popped it back into the screen without it. So normally that might go off the edge because I've told it to be at screen width So it's automatically done it. So if you think about that, I can actually align something in the middle um, At the bottom using absolutes really easily um, Like so Now what happens if I want it to though be as wide as the screen? Um, what I can actually do is I can add another pro proportional type and I can actually say I want it to be width proportional as well. So that's width and that's height. So that means I want width proportional to be one, but I still want it to be 50 high. Um, so you can see you put them together and you can actually make them do interesting stuff. Um, and of course I can do the same thing I can do it the other way around with height proportional there's also X and Y proportional so this one here I'll be 50 um, it'll be sort of the other, flipped around the other way so it'll be a bit it'll go up the edge of the screen 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much absolute layouts. So let's have a look at that same, uh, that 50 width now on a 1080p emulator instead of the smaller one I was using. And you can see they're actually roughly about right. So even though that screen's a larger screen, it sort of figures it all out for you. So the last thing to show is uh, auto size. So I've changed the width back to proportional. Um, so it should be at the bottom because they're one one x and y are one, uh, and it should also be 100% wide. Um, but auto size is interesting. This is uh, obviously because it width is proportional, but height isn't. I'm setting it to auto size, which means basically it will size to its content automatically. Um, so you think of auto size as being a way to look inside oneself for size. Uh, so if I add one label, it's that high. If I then add another label, uh, yeah, you can see it becomes just a little bit higher automatically. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much absolute layout.